In this video, we got an overpowered route in NCAA 25. We're going to be running the gun trips offset. And the play that we're going to be running is going to be the play all go. Now, if you want to use this specific play, this is in Arkansas, Cal, Hawaii, Memphis, Pittsburgh, Baylor, Colorado, Kentucky, Miami, and Sam Houston State. But this specific route, which is the route that's lit up red, um, you can actually find this in multiple formations. Uh, but it goes perfect with this formation. Um, and we're going to show you how to set up a route combo that is going to make this really deadly. So let's go ahead and jump to the practice field and show you how we set this up. All right, so a couple things about this play. If you're on the left hash, you want your trio to the right side. If you're on the right hash, you want your trio to the left. Now, you don't necessarily need to be on a specific hash. Like, you can run this to the wide side. But to get the best results, I think it's better to run it like this. Now, as a default play, not the greatest. A can beat man coverage. RB can get open against some zones. Um, but the simplest thing to do if you want a quick snap is just putting RB on a drag and maybe blocking the running back or putting them out on a little flat route like this. Um, RB would damn near get open every single time because what A does is does a really good job of taking away linebackers or sub linebackers so you can get open right there in the middle of the field. Now, nothing too crazy about that, but I'm going to show you how to make this route combo OP. What you're going to do is put the running back on a wheel route, go ahead and smart route A, and then put RB on a drag, and then put B on a comeback route. So you have B as a last resort if it's man coverage, hit the comeback route. A is like that route out of like tight formations um i if you know if you've been around my channel you know what i'm talking about where you can stem route it and it goes like really deep so that it's like they're running a streak but they cut at the last second and it gets open against everything this is damn near the same concept um this is way better than running a crossing route basically once your guy makes his cut you can throw the ball to him but again if you've seen my channel you know this route combo this opens up against all zone coverages to the running back right here you're always going to have that that nice little pocket between all zones um, but the go-to is definitely going to be a, when you need that yardage. And the thing is you can, if you like, let's say it's whatever, for whatever reason, you know, third and 30, if you need the yardage, you can stem this up even higher. So it'll look like this. Um, again, once your guy makes that cut, you can basically throw this. The safety is not going to be able to pick that up. Um, and then I, what I would recommend is putting the outside guy running the streak as your fastest guy and maybe your best route runner where A's at. Because we want X to take that corner route, uh, the cornerback out of the picture. So when we make the cut, there's nobody there. So even if this was a cover four, basically they would follow that streak where X is. And then once A makes the cut, you're free to throw that. But if you're just running this play to get yards, you don't even have to smart route it. If you want to, you can actually stem this down one um, if you want it to break a little bit quicker. So it'll look something like this. This will still be a really good high-low read. Because A is not going directly to the corner, the flat has to register RB coming across the field. So it's going to be a high-low read. Again, if RB is open, just take RB. You can still get 5 to 10 yards and get some pretty... Um, good yards that way but again uh the go-to is definitely going to be um a coming across the field uh so let's just show you what it looks like when you're actually throwing to the sideline um very simple you just damn they, they just got some I, I am going against a, a way better defense than i do have often i just i just like using baylor um but let's go ahead and set this up again like let's say you just want a, a nice you know you need 10 yards we'll, we'll stem this down one you can even yeah stem it down one um so if you don't want to smart route it and where it goes up twice just go ahead and stem it up once manually and this will be the perfect height to get a nice high, little nice little high low read right here uh between the flat so and even if they try to play like a double maple again you don't have to wait for him to get way over there you can throw this as soon as he makes the cut so let's go ahead and set this up one more time what's going on all right there we go so again once he makes the cut that's when we're going to throw the ball he makes the cut we're going to have a nice little pocket and usually what I do is I'll get around the corner and I'll just be able to get a one play touchdown. So from here, let's go ahead and jump to the practice, or not the practice field. We're on the practice field. Let's go ahead and jump into some head to head action and show you how this is being used against real users. All right, let's go ahead and get into this play. I almost forgot I was trying to set up to do a money play. And then I realized we're supposed to be running this play and I do have my players in the wrong position. I got my fast guy running where I want him at X. But we can still get this going. Um, first play he ran, I ran against him. He ran man coverage, so we'll see what happens right here. Got the running back wide open, wide open. Outside juke, that's money right there. Um, again, the simple one to do if you just want a quick snap, um, you don't want to make this too crazy. Just put the middle wide receiver on a drag. I'm telling y'all, he's gonna get open every single time. 
And that was with him actually putting his lineman out there. I don't think that was meant to do that. Um, but I definitely want to try to get a one play touchdown with RB at least once to show y'all how once you like, let's see, let's try to do it right here. If he's in zone, we might do it. Okay, we got RB. It's actually man covered. Why did like, if you're gonna die? Like I don't understand why he even had to die for that. Um, and the, okay, so that's the main reason I tell y'all not to run this to the wide side like this is because if it is a cover four, the safety in the middle can pick it up. So it's easier to run it to the short side because the safety in the middle, if there is one, will kind of favor the streak from A or from B. I'm sorry. I need to fix my icons. I don't mean to have them like this. We're going to stem it up once. The running backs there. Look, the running backs there every single time. There's no reason not to take that. This is actually like perfect yardage. Or, uh, yeah, perfect yardage to get a touchdown. Let's go ahead and audible or flip this to the weak side or those. Uh, the short side, not the weak side. Let's go ahead and smart route A. This is like perfect yardage right here to get a touchdown, though. Let's see. Let's see if he actually goes and tries to pick up the running back this time. Let me hit him at least twice already. And that's kind of the goal right here. Okay, so it's man coverage. We got the comeback route. That's perfect. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is crazy. So, like, obviously, again, last resort. Comeback route is always there against man coverage. My guy did not even animate to catch the ball. I'm over there spamming Y for him to catch it, but didn't want to. Um, another thing you could do if you know they're in zone coverage, uh, or I'm sorry, man coverage, you could put RB on a zig route. So you can do this, or did I not put him on a zig route? You could put RB on a zig route, keep B on a streak, and then I would put the running back on the end route. Um, I don't know if he's in man coverage, but if he is, which he actually is, the zig route always beats man coverage. What What is, what is going on? Did something happen with this college update? That because there was an update this morning. That, was there an update where we just not gonna catch the ball no more? Oh my goodness! So this is definitely like a zero blitz look. Um. So again, you can run a zig route, and then why is it okay? I'll run a zig right there, and then I would probably just put X on a curl, and then let's go ahead and smart route a over X, and we can just hit X right here okay if we had time now that's crazy i had two drop passes wide open i don't know i, I can't explain that one to y'all um good blitz right there that actually got to me pretty quick um let's see what he's got going on right this i don't think this is a, this might be a five man cover three blitz again go ahead and set it up because at the end of the day if it is man coverage we do have the comeback route with b but i'm trying to get that touchdown with a right here this might be it right here there it is Okay, like, I don't know what's going on with the passing. I'm throwing greens. If you're um, using Baylor um, and you're in the red zone, go to the single back or the pistol ace and use the stretch. And you just motion over where you're going to go. If they follow, don't, and then motion them back. But if they don't follow, let them motion all the way over. And then go ahead and call the play like this. This, this stretch is crazy good. You just got to find the gaps, know when to cut, and you're most likely going to get some type of yardage. In college, uh, we have been sticking to the 3-3 stack. Nothing too crazy about it. Still putting a quarterback spy out there and just kind of using the, the middle linebacker, which is a safety for me. Uh, in the dynasty, one of the dynasties that I'm in, I you can't use safeties, um, so you have to use people that at their respective positions. So this, could, this does get a little bit more difficult because the linebackers can be so slow. Um, okay, I, I wasn't even... I need to change this, these icons. They are getting in my way. That was when I was doing the video on how to throw the ball so y'all can see the icons better. Uh, but yeah, in college, we've been sticking to the 3-3 stack. Um, still a valid defense. Oh, this guy is quick snapping the hell out of me. And we're still getting to him. Okay, that works. I have been trying different things with the 3-3 stack, though. Like when I uh, shift over the linebacker, sometimes I'll blitz that outside linebacker. Oh, that's me. Let's go. Um... Man, but that's why I love Baylor. They they got the speed to put at safety. We're going to go ahead and let them tackle us. They got the speed to put at safety uh, or at sub linebacker. I got a 94 speed sub linebacker, a 92, and then I got a linebacker that's usually playing my spy at 90 speed. Uh, so the 3-3 three, three stack goes crazy with them. Oh, okay. This is another thing you can do that I didn't talk about. And um, if this is a cover two man, I'm going to go ahead and try to get a one play touchdown. So if you put the guy in the middle on the streak, Put a corner route out there and then put B on a comeback route. Or you can actually put them on a corner route. Put them on a corner route. Okay. 
now we got the corner out um we can hit rb in the middle for a one play touchdown against cover two now oh my goodness bro i can't throw i can't i used to throw dots with the baylor quarterback but yeah that will bomb um cover two and cover two man if you just put them on a streak um and then put two corner routes out there time it looks like he went back to zone we're gonna go ahead and set this up it's quite a smart route for our comeback route out there um we should have rb right here he's oh wow oh wow he actually played really deep right there he played really oh, what was he had to have been out 30s and it's throwing me off because he's playing the d tackle so he definitely has his own drops really far back so we'll let's try to adjust it. Let's see if we can get past that. We're gonna we're gonna actually smart route that route even deeper and see if he gets open. Um but let's get back to this three three stack. We kind of been locking up on ball defense. Uh that's basically what I've been doing now with the three three stack is I'll pinch the D line and then I'll shift my linebackers to the side the running back could possibly be running. And they just play the run that much better. Sometimes I do still spread the linebackers. Um, but this does this does a better job. Man. Quick snaps are real. All right, good stop. Give me that. I overplayed it. I was there for it. I overplayed it. We got plenty of time, though. We got plenty of time. All right, we got 23 seconds, plenty of time. This time, we seen that he put his zone drops pretty far back. So what we're going to do is, did he go to man coverage? You know what? This looks like a cover, too. Let's take advantage of it. And we got Baldwin right there. This looks like cover two. If this is cover two, cover two man, it don't matter which one. We get a corner out out there. This is touchdowns. This is cover two, cover two man. Come on, burn that. That's a linebacker. Let's go. Yes, sir. All day. No when to take advantage of that cover two, cover two man. I didn't get my spy out there. Sneak or screen. Get the, that's the dive. That dive should. Somebody explain that dive to me. Like, who in the world is going straight to their knees first? Like, jump at the man. That dive needs to be removed from this game. I haven't seen it in Madden, but that is crazy. Goal line situation. Goal line situation. This could go either way right here. Get this with the play action again, but we're there for it. Oh, what a play. I got to give it to him on that one. I thought the guy was going to stay with him. Hopefully we can get him to run that zone again where he has that uh that flat playing really deep. That's what I'm trying to do. Um so I can show y'all how uh crazy this route can actually get. So let's stem it up once. I think that'll be perfect. At the end of the day, we still got the running back we could hit. I wish they had my guy recent, but they don't. This could be man coverage. Let's see what he's running. Hey, he is playing deep this time. See that time we got it. Can we get it off? Okay. Now nah, that flat is playing it. And, and and don't don't force what I'm doing. Um, y'all know I gotta show y'all the good with the bad. If you pay attention, RB is open every single time in the flat. He has nobody up watching RB. He's just guarding the. He's so worried about A. But then stem it up. Now actually, let's just stem it down. Let's stem it down one more. Let's make him worry about that. And it, like pay attention. If he plays this again, RB is wide open every single time. By that time, we had A. A, a was actually wide open. Um, we're gonna keep running it though. We're gonna keep running it. But whenever he does play that deep with his zone, okay, look, this is cover two. It, it looks like cover two at least, as of how far the nah. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. We're just let's just keep running this. Let's just see how how crazy this route can be. So again, if he's playing that deep, so this time eight hey, looks like he's gonna get open. Just gotta lead it up. Yep, there it is. Good catches right there. All right, now let's say that they're worried about A, R, B, and now if we put B on a little five and in like this, we got a, a backside check down. This is man coverage. B, a beats man coverage. It's it's one of those routes that, that once they make the cut, it's going to always beat man coverage no matter who's guarding them, even if there's like a top-tier cornerback. Um, when you uh, stem it up or down, now we're in our area to go ahead and just run a stretch. Again, if you got Baylor, just run this pistol A stretch. If the corner follows, motion them back. You got a nice little gap right there every single time. All right, let's see if we can lock up right here. Actually, man him up. Do something like that. I'm watching the other guy. I'm there for that. Give me that. Yes, that is a read right there. That is a read. Get him out the game, coach. 